Dr. Soner doing another section on boat rigging. I'm doing this because I get a lot of questions on how I rig my boat. My boat looks like the Starship Enterprise when I'm done. I mean, how many people do you know have Garmin, Lawrence, Hummingbird, and more than one of each on the boat? <laughs> but anyway, since I teach Soner, I have to do that. So, this is my Crestliner, and I'm going to show you how I rig my um, batteries. So, batteries are on a lot of these boats, they tuck them away now because we don't want to, uh, we want storage for access, to access for other things, not just batteries. So they're, they're stuck in underneath the rods. Notice there's a hole here. Okay, so let's, let's lift this up. Let's see that. Let's lift this up. So there's the access to the batteries. Battery charger. The, the reason there was a hole so you could see in there and see if the lights are on or if there's a fault light, if they're charged. It's really important because if you have a fishing tournament, you want to know that your batteries are not dead. And you don't want to take you don't want to take everything off and go and look. Okay, you see how I did this? Basically, I have three batteries because I run a 36 volt Altera, and um, which is 36 volt systems are really needed. With uh, I just need the power in my boat. This 21 foot Raptor needs a lot of power. Okay, that's a big boat. All right, so I run. I make sure you put the positive and have a rubber guard on it. You know because the positive has to be covered. The negative doesn't because the boat. It's grounded as negative because of your main, your starting motor. Um, and if you take a wrench and you touch to the ground, if the, if it's connected to any wire, it could be a problem. So, cover the positives. Um, you, you notice the double strap. I double strap the trolling motors because I don't want them to break free. So why did they break free? Because us young guys like to go really fast. I have a 21 foot boat, I have hydraulic seats, smooth move seats, and I, the boat takes the beating, not my body. Now the boat can take the beating, but if you don't have your batteries secured tight, they can come loose and you don't want batteries flopping around hitting the waves. So I double bag, double uh, strap them, and then I think that I use Optima batteries. Um, you really should have AGM batteries because the, the, you don't have to check water levels. When they're tucked in here, you don't want to be going in and check and see if you got water levels. I mean, um, it, it's, just, it's just the way to do it. So they, they come packed with these nice little foam. I mean, it's not compressible very much. So I stuff them in the sides, in between the batteries. I stuff them in at the ends there. I don't want the batteries to move because they will slide in the battery case because they don't fit completely snug in there. And um, it's just a nice way of doing it. And that's about it. I suppose some of you have been thinking about what about all those uh, rod holders I have. I know I'm going to get a question on that. Well, I get, I'll tell you, the reason there's three rows in there is I whined about it to the engineers at uh, Crestliner <laughs> because I said, why do we have just two? Why can't we have three? And bingo, I lucked out. So, as usual, go fishing. The clock is ticking.